Now let's look at the user interface and then we'll see how to customize the information display. In the plan, simple user interface actions can be done with the mouse. As you see, you can easily go over different time periods by simply scrolling with your mouse. By turning the scroll wheel of the mouse and using the control key, you can also modify the time scale. You can either zoom in on specific days or display per hours the plan to monitor short operations. On the other hand, you can zoom out on the time scale to use weeks, months, or even years. This feature gives you the flexibility to adapt the display depending on the length of the production process. The display can also be adjusted using predefined functions that can display the current date or the beginning or end of the plan. You have also the option to display the previous period in the plan or jump ahead to the next period. Or you can directly select the date to display in the plan. In a similar way, different scales are pre-configured. A weekly plan, a daily plan, or a monthly plan. You can even customize your own scale to display the exact number of hours, days, weeks, months, or years you need. You are able to define the number and type of information displayed in the operations. Using the button Operation Bars, you can select what information to display among the operation and work order information. To display in the bar of the Gantt chart, for example. With a simple drag and drop, you can add the released product code in the operation display. This new information appears automatically in the operation bar. In order that all information is fully displayed, the font size of the operation will adjust and shrink as additional information is inputted. The raw height button allows you to adjust the height of the operation bar to make the display easier to read. Tooltips are used to display even more information when the mouse pointer is on a particular operation. You can also use the Operation Screen Tips button for additional customization of displayed information. By using drag and drop you can remove unnecessary information or add what might be missing. The new configuration is applied instantly and visible in the tooltip. You can now use highlight colors to view operations related to the same work order. work orders related to the same release product or to the same group or to the same customer. Colors can also be customized except for the advance or delay status of a work order. These colors are predefined and cannot be changed. Red is used to identify work orders with a due date in the past.
Orange is used for work orders planned with a delay of 10 days or more, while yellow is used for work orders planned with less than 10 days delay. Pale green is used for work orders on time or less than 10 days of margin. And finally, dark green is used for work orders with more than 10 days of advance. When using the advance delay highlight option, the colors are applied immediately depending on their advance or delay. Refresh buttons are available in the button ribbon. The auto refresh button automatically updates the data displayed in the production scheduler to take into account the modifications done in Sage X3, such as new work orders submitted to the scheduler or removed from the scheduler by a user in Sage X3. These work orders will automatically disappear or appear on the standby resource when you are using the auto refresh mode. If the auto refresh mode is not active, a manual refresh will be required from the user. To update the work plan with the new information from Sage X3.